Hey, this is my preview for Ring of Honor's uh, Honor Takes Center Stage uh, weekend, wrestling weekend shows. Just really, really excited about this, more so than WrestleMania. Uh, I might not get WrestleMania, it depends on other friends. This is too damn expensive. And you want to talk about the anti WrestleMania as far as price goes? It's Ring of Honor Takes Center Stage, Honor Takes Center Stage. $20 for two awesome wrestling shows or $15 for one. I'd see you go with the two. A really cool thing is the second show is going to be at 1 p.m. Saturday. Uh, afternoon shows are really good. If you don't remember, uh, SummerSlam 92 was in the UK. Um, uh, I was a kid, but I'm pretty sure it was still daylight when I was watching it. It was really cool. So, yeah. Uh, our openers most likely going to be at Four Corner Survival Homicide versus Tommaso Chimpa uh, with the Embassy versus Colt Cavana versus Caleb Connolly with Truth My Team. Uh, homicide, obviously, you know Homicide. Uh, he's good in multi man matches. He's not so good one on one now, but I think it's just because of injuries instead of just slowing down a little. Uh, but he's good in four ways. Okay, he and then the other, the second uh, competitor is uh, Tomasa Champa. I think he's with the Embassy. Uh, I heard good things about him. Uh, I guess he's nothing like Mike Bennett. So okay, and then we got a third guy, Colt Cabana, Boom Boom Cabana. Everyone knows Cabana. Cabana's awesome. You know, you love him. If you don't, you're a douchebag. Okay, and the fourth and final competitor in this match is Caleb Conley. With Truth Martini, uh, Caleb was the guy that Carino first decided to help out. He saw him going down the wrong path, and he's young and angry and all this stuff. And Carino tried to like, maybe mentor him a little, and he actually listened on the next show. He played by the rules and it cost him a match, so he went the complete opposite direction and went to Martini. So uh, I think that's a good fit for him, because he is a decent wrestler. Uh, our second match, Women of Honor, Sarah Del Rey and Serena Deep, formerly of Straight Edge Society, versus Hiro, Hiroyo Matsumoto and Ayumi Karihara. Karihara sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm just really excited about Karihara and Sarah Del Rey in the same ring. Uh, Matsumoto's good. I haven't seen too much of her, but she's good. This is going to be a good match. Uh, probably going to be 10 minutes at the most, but it'll be good. Night 2 will have a better women's match, I think. Okay, then we get a grudge match. El Generico versus Michael Elgin. The House of Truth is banned from ringside. This is in part to do with the last time they wrestled. Truth got right in there. Truth just... Yeah, it wasn't very... Um, it was too much truth. It might as well have been a handicap match. So, yeah, El Generico and Elgin, um, basically, they have very good chemistry, and... Elgin, while well, he's a good wrestler, he's still pretty raw, and he will get better over time. But Generico makes him look like he's already a veteran. Uh, this is kind of what Undertaker did to Batista. Batista, before he had this match with Undertaker, was never better than good. And Batista, I mean, Batista was made to look great by Taker. So Generico is the Taker to Elgin's Batista. Not that Elgin's as bad as Batista, Janamco's as legendary as Undertaker, but it's, it's a good uh, comparison. Anyway, uh, we get a tag team match next, just like a challenge match. There's no real feud behind it. Uh, Jay and Mark Briscoe versus Adam Cole and Kyle on Riley. And this is a good match. Uh, kind of hoping Cole and O'Reilly go over, but Briscoe's go over, I'm good too. Just going to be a good match. Then we have Final Battle 2010 rematch. Roderick Strong versus Davey Richards. Of course, Roderick's going to have truth. Uh, this is going to be a good match. I mean, the first. All their matches have been pretty good. Especially the PWG match. I'm hoping this is as good as that. Just. Yeah, it's just going to be a really good match. Okay, then we get to like our double main event. First match of the main event for World Tag Team Championships. Chris Hero, Claudio Castagnoli, the kings of wrestling, the greatest team in the world. Bad intentions come close. Ah, and then they're with Shane Hagedorn, and they defend versus the world's greatest tag team, or wrestling's greatest tag team, either way. 
Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Dawes. Uh, it's a really good match. Uh, the first meeting they had was at Glory of Honor in 9. And the hero ended up knocking out Haas, I believe, with the uh, loaded elbow pad. Which was kind of unfair, so they got a rematch at SoCal Showdown 2 in January, I believe. And Haas actually made Claudio tap out, so we got, uh, after Benjamin Haas defeated the Briscoes at the last ninth anniversary show pay per view, they got their uh, shot, the rematch, and probably gonna be the last shot at Kings. Just, I don't know who's gonna win this. You can go either way, and it's gonna be a great match. I loved their last match. I thought it was better than Glory of Honor. Yeah, can't wait for this. Okay, Ben here comes uh, my match of the night for sure. I think Ring of Honor World Television Champion Christopher Daniels, not not his title's not online. Versus the Ring of Honor World Champion Eddie Edwards, his title is uh, Ring of Honor World Title Match. Between, I, I think this is the feud of the year, and I think these are the rest of the year. Edwards isn't the rest of the year, Daniels is. It's basically like that. These guys have been neck and neck. But Daniels has always had the slight advantage. Daniels beat Edwards in his first match back, I believe, at um, Manhattan Mayhem 5. And then the rematch was on HD Net for Edwards' TV title. Edwards went to a draw. But then they did the demanding five more minutes chair than an RVD thing. And Edwards lost in the last minute to Daniels. And then their last match, two out of three falls, it was supposed to settle it. Uh, they had a fall apiece, and then it went to the draw. Time on the draw at 30 minutes, and the match was just easily one of the matches of the year, top three, I'd say, right now. And it's just Daniels versus Edwards. And, like, it's the few, like, these guys have the perfect chemistry. Like, uh... Michael's an Undertaker, that sort of thing, you know? Don't want to compare the few. It's pretty damn good, man. It produces the matches. The show is, uh, uh, by the way, April 1st, Friday night, 8 p.m. or 7.30. I can never get it exactly right. I tune in time and I see it, so. Okay, then we have Saturday, April 2nd at 1 p.m. Really early start time. Uh, good, though, because SummerSlam 92 was something like this, and it was maybe at 3 o'clock, but it was freaking fantastic to get that over in the daytime it's just good okay our likely opener uh, well maybe not it could be a smaller match but Homicide versus Tommaso Ciampa I believe that's his name at the embassy uh, yeah I don't know I haven't really seen Ciampa but I expect this to be a decent match Homicide would probably be stiff uh, that's just what happens if you face Homicide okay non-title match TV champion Christopher Daniels versus Michael Elgin with Truth Martini. Uh, yeah, I like Elgin and Daniels makes everyone look good. Daniels is like the Bret Hart of Ring of Honor. And Bret Hart is the one who said he was the best tactical wrestler in the world right now, so <sighs> yeah, it's pretty high praise. It's a good comparison, obviously. Then we have a shimmer tag team title match, the champions, the Hayes, Daisy Hayes, and Tamoka Nakagawa uh, defending against Hiroyo Matsumoto and Aomi Karahara. Uh, I could see a title switch. Uh, it's just going to be a good match. I'm actually anticipating it quite a bit. I expect good. Good stuff from this. Uh, then we have a special attraction which set me really excited. Colt Boom Boom Cabana versus the Embassy's Outsider, the Squire, Squire Dave Taylor. As in WCW, WWE, teamed with Regal, Finley, that kind of thing. Great wrestler. Big guy, you're from the stuff. Okay, then we have a grudge tag team match. Jay and Mark Briscoe versus the All Night Express. Now, this is a good feud. These guys hate each other. I kind of, I guess the Briscoes turned heel. So they're the bad guys now. And the All Night Express turned face, which I can buy into. I, I like the Online Express. The, the good the young guys get down. The Briscoes have been around for so long, they needed a change, and this is the change. Okay, then we have a SoCal Showdown 2 rematch. Roderick Strong with Truth Martini versus El Generico. The first match was excellent. It, it could have been even it could have been even better without the screwy finish. But the screwy finish is good because it leads to this. Uh, yeah. 
I think generic when I pull this one off. All right, then we have. Uh, I would say this isn't the co-main event. It's the tag team. It's a tag team challenge match. I believe the titles are not online because Cole and O'Reilly haven't quite earned it yet. Uh, World Tag Team Champions: The Kings of Wrestling, Hero and Castanoli, with Hagenor versus Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, Cole and O'Reilly out. Uh, Look for them to pull something. They, not an upset necessarily. They could, but look for them to like pull out like a star performance. Like they're coming out. Okay, then we have a dream tag team match: the American Wolves, ROH World Champion Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards versus Wrestling's Greatest Tag Team: Charlie Haas, Shelton Benjamin. Holy shit! This is gonna be awesome. This is probably gonna be better than the Kings versus. Benjamin Haas, just because of the style of the American Wolves. I hope this is a tag match and not just four guys going at it like separately. And because that kind of happened when the Wolves fought the Kings. But yeah, I still expect a lot out of this. Go Fight Live.tv, Friday night at 7.30 or 8. And Go Fight Live.tv, Saturday at 1 p.m. So Friday night, Saturday afternoon. Double bill, Ring of Honor, Honor Take Center Stage. Uh, 20 bucks or for both shows together, or 15 for one. I mean, I'd probably go with two, and I, I did. But yeah, um, they don't work for Ring of Honor or anything. They're not the only company I watch. I'm not a robot. This is just me uh, promoting a good show. It's going to be better than WrestleMania. I can. Guarantee that they just don't have enough great matches to make WrestleMania better. Ring of Honor has more than enough. Uh, I expect great, great matches, match of the year candidates, left, right, and center, everywhere. Okay, so this has been my uh, preview, and uh, I hope everyone enjoys the show. And WrestleMania, Chikara, Dragon Gate, whatever you watch, enjoy that too. Um, yeah, enjoy yourselves.